Hello everybody and welcome back. It's me, Quark, and today we're playing more Outward. So we found the mole thing last time, which was the petrified organs we needed to upgrade one of our buildings. And we got two really interesting pieces of items. So we got the barrier armor. That looks dope. But it's not really something we'd wear. Uh, comparing them, obvious. Well, I guess they're technically better. No, no, it's worse. It's way worse. Moving speed up 10, but it's not worth it. Super, super high durability, though. But we'll switch back. And we found this. The Slumbering Shield. Now, what's cool about it is impact of 40, damage of 30. That's damage. Impact resistance 17. It says a shield reacts to petrified flesh. What would happen if... If you and someone very large were covered in it. Holy crap. Do I have petrified flesh? That's a huge freaking shield. I have petrified organs. But I don't know if that would count as the same thing. There's dweller's brain, but that's not petrified. So it looks like not. But I will grab my Tyrannosaur Axe. We will throw that on. God, that shield is dope! So we have Petrified Organs. We can drop that in the ground. It's not reacting. Okay. So what the petr Petrified Organs were for is we have a building over here that's needing to be upgraded or built and so I guess we're gonna go ahead and build this and then we're going to rest for two weeks so we need funds so let's do that rest yada yada I do think I want to keep the shield for a while though that's awesome all right got some resting done what are we at on days that doesn't help us. So we have our market. You better have the money. Shut up. I built this place. Eat my ass. I like that backpack. That looks really cool. And it gives me a plus 15% damage bonus. I believe oh, that one gives us 15 hot weather resistance. That's cool. Decreases corruption, which I haven't seen corruption in the area. I kind of want to get one of these backpacks. Hmm. Yeah, we'll buy it. Yeah, sure. Well, it hurt. Uh, it's dark. Did our other one get completed? Yep, there. No, it's not completed yet. I guess I gotta restart it. Stupid. Let's take 20 days. Jeez. All right, well, I guess let's skip some more. All right, we got those two done. New quest log. Speak to one dumbass about a, his improved forge idea. I can forge be installed after 150 days. Great. Let's go look at this one. Oh, that's so cool. We should have actually made this whole alcove right here. Just a market area. But Would whatever. You buy something? Of course I do. Thank you for asking. You have nothing for me. You have that. Nothing else I could really use. Oh, wait, what was that at the bottom? Bomb kit. Cool. Don't want that. All right. Um. Oh yeah, we got the new backpack. I guess we can check it out here in a second. Kind of want to get all my backpacks in a group. And then we gotta drop off that armor because we're not gonna use it. And then we gotta talk to dumbass. So. Yeah. So maybe we should do two separate backpacks. Oh, go ahead and throw that one on. That looks awesome. 
doesn't impede rolling, but I mean, rolling wasn't impeded anyways. That was the wrong button. That's the wrong button. What the crap? I could not figure this out. Okay, well, you know what? Forget this backpack. I guess it didn't have a slot to carry. All right, Mr. Dumbass. Today is a good day. Whew. Now that we've got that little bit of work handled, we've been able to plan a more effective furnace design. Should vastly improve smelting new bricks and other materials, our workers would be able to do it with less resources. The problem is, I'll need a volcanic forge stone to make it work. And our entire supply fell into the magma when the three brothers had a massive earthquake. I need you to prepare a new one for us to use. You'll want to hear this. From Myers that dug a big chunk of crystal to serve as raw material for forge stone. Bring it to the belly of the elder brother, the volcano behind old Sirico, which Here's is where we went earlier. Uh, we have set up a site for, we have a site set up deep in the crater, convert the crystal into forge stone. Once you've got to charge up, bring it home and the job is done. Yeah, that's a good one. I was actually already shocked and died peach stroke. <laughs> Do you think we'd live in a city with a volcano in our literal backyard and not have found a solution for the heat? Lying the lower levels, a special prepared absorb heat, make a safe traverse. In fact, when you visit the eldest brother, take a look near the bottom and you'll see something we call the Ember Heart. Which is dope. A little coaxing from a mage. It can keep us live uh, it can keep our living areas cool, redirecting heat. <laughs> Ever wonder why? Being near open magma outside doesn't give you heat stroke on the spot. I think the Emperor Heart for that. Level of power it has. Protect and blanket. Protect it. It's protection blanket the entire region. It'll still be hot in there like nothing you've ever experienced. I've been in but there. But you won't catch fire just by being in there. How do you expect me to carry such a huge chunk? We, do we have a wagon? You'll want to hear this. Uh, I've got... One of our old harnesses meant for carrying ore on your back. Of course, it does mean you can't carry. Oh. You should leave your backpack here in the settlement. We'll look after it in the meantime. Bury yourself the best you can with the space you have in your pocket. Use your ears, eh? Oh, and you have to lose crystal. Let me know immediately. It'll cost you if you want a replacement. Give us a hand, will you? There's a large brass door at the base of Old Sierra's upper district. And the route is closed during the city's collapse, but you should be able to reopen. It's already reopened, so that's so, fine. what are we working on today? Very well. Oh, it's because I have that stone. So what are we going to put in our pockets, I guess? Yeah, we'll drink that. We're not going to need this. I'm going to roll around like this. Good enough. Alright, let's head to Old Sierra and get this stone done. You all know how to get there, right? 
you just go straight south. Bam, right there. So, west, south. Let's get there. Alrighty. So, we've already been here, which is good. Oh, we haven't been here. Oh, that's awesome. We really can't be grabbing all this stuff. That's fine. I completely forgot about that. Or I guess never grabbed it? Nope, I've never been up there. That's awesome. I was hoping to find a health or a stamina potion, but it's not. That's okay. It's perfectly fine. So yeah, we're just gonna go here. Hi there. So I'm not 100% sure what we're supposed to do here. It just says bring the large stone to the charging station Ew, inside the depths. I know where we gotta go. We've been there before. It's just gonna be a lot of running. That's all it's gonna be. We're gonna avoid everything. Hi there. Bye there. We gotta go all the way down there. That platform. That's the long way. There we go. Oh, fun. Luckily, we've been here and we know the layout, kind of, sort of, of the place. So we should be okay. Unless that's it over there. But I highly doubt it's this. Well, luckily we can't run off the edge, but yeah, this isn't it. <sighs> Still no stamina potions. That'd be a big hope. We're gonna slam one of these to hopefully free up a little bit of space. Then it didn't free up too much, but I wanted that halberd. No reason to have it. It just looks cool. Just uh, another thing for me to collect and take back to Berg with me once I'm done. Alright, we are here, and luckily, nope, they're, they're, they're alive, it's been a while. Alright, 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 coming through, we're dead. Whew, that sucks. Does that mean we lose the stone? I really hope it doesn't. You fade out of consciousness, try to drive yourself to safety. You're throbbing, blah, 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 finally pass out, blah, 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 blah. Okay, we, we still got the stone, so that's a plus. That was freaking nuts. All right, let's get back to old Serco. We know how to get there. Ugh. Hate you guys. I love that stone, though. That's so cool. Anyways, let's go. Man, we got wrecked. I'm ready to have my backpack back. That's like we could have prepared for that and actually tried, but not. I'm impressed. Ah, you did it. Well, my improved furnace design's ready and waiting for this. Our efficiency with building materials is about to get a noticeable boost. Thanks as always. <laughs> yes. In any case, we can process advanced building materials with those furnaces. I'll cook up a number of improvements. You can make our specialized buildings with. Let me know what you need, and we'll get it built. Achievement unlocked. Heart of the Volcano. Liberate the Sun's Log. Speak with Evangeline about construction. Okay. We will pick this back up. We will transfer this. We will slam it in her face. Move it back. Yes. Okay, that halberd is really cool, but we don't need it. Drop back into our stuff. And all the other random crap that we picked up that we don't need. Which I 
think it's just this. Okay, let's talk to her and see what's going on. Wonderful news! Working on last really big improvements to our construction. The next task done, we'll finally be able to build the last essential part for the settlement. Huh. If we're able Give to maintain able to maintain any more specialized buildings, we need a total temperature control here, just to work on the solution, but I'm worried. Playing a bunch of pipes into the ground may weaken the integrity of the soil. Here's what we need. Get it done. For now, focus on getting us what we need for the next phase of construction. Start dealing with the temperature issue. Once this is cleared up, it'll take 150 days before Joseph starts drilling holes for the ventilation system. So we'll have time to think. Oh, there you are. All right, so we need three specialized buildings, one upgraded specialized building. Okay, so we just need to build one more specialized building, which do we have it? Mason's Workshop. It's an improvement on the Mason's Workshop, provides six stone. Okay, that's an upgrade. Okay. Um, so, what are we working on today? Improvements provide a huge boon to one of our specialized buildings, providing new and helpful services. But be warned. Alchemist got that. Blacksmith? We don't have that. Okay, so now we got to pick out where we want to place this stuff at. And I guess go from there. We got a town hall we can also build. Which I guess the best spot for that would probably be like over here. I don't know why I'm talking like that. My nose kind of hurts. Sorry. Uh, city hall. It is huge. Not enough room there. Alright, what about the blacksmith? That's also pretty big, but it does fit technically. And it doesn't fit good enough. And we can always put it up here, the town hall. It makes sense. How far back can I go? Requires geodes. Well, I guess we should go grab all of our rare materials and then start placing the stuff. Because luckily we have the geodes. And I guess we need to upgrade. Yeah, the Mason's Workshop, which is that, I believe, back there. Oh, shoot. Or we. Can we upgrade the store? So, what are we working on today? Uh, Alchemist, Blacksha, Chapel, Chanting, City Hall, Food Store, General Store. Allows you to pay 300 silvers to travel across, travel to any other town you choose. Also generates 150 funds per day. Refreshes, unlocks secondary inventory, General Store. Other towns. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, so, oh, need materials. Let's grab those and get this going. I didn't know what we all needed, so I just kind of grabbed a hodgepodge. So I guess we'll grab this. Housing of six is required. Housing of six. Okay, that doesn't require housing in six, so I guess we're gonna upgrade that thing. Uh, cause I don't have a housing of six yet. I think I have three. That was a really loud pop. I think this upgrade is for this. It is. Perfect. Ready for construction. What do we need? We need nothing. 
start construction. 15 freaking days. Uh, next. Food store? No. Nope. Okay. The uh, town hall needs to be done first. So we're going to start that because we've got the geode inventory. We're going to start that upgrade. And then we're going to rest for a while and get all that done. Let's get it. Let's get, well, yeah, let's get it done. All right. So. Looks like that's done upgrading. I didn't receive an update in my quest level. I want to upgrade a specialized building. Yeah, that should have been it, but I never received an update in the quest log and it didn't actually do anything, so. Not 100% sure, but I also need to get this finished up here. And get a couple more houses built, because of course, why not? So I guess let's get all that done and I guess upgrade our general store. All right, so we've got our town hall and our other house done. So that means This one. Wait, housing of six required. I thought I had a housing of six. Three specialized building, one upgraded. So can I build another house now? Can it build can't build any additional houses? Oh, that one never finished. I never freaking started it for upgrading. Okay, let's get this one finished and then We'll upgrade. Okay. Now we're good. Also, pre-warning, whenever you build your town hall, that's where the three dumbasses go. They go up there. Because, you know, that makes sense. Let's get this one upgraded. Uh, this one. Can I do just Mac? Do I have to choose which one? Can I just do this one? Oh, I can. Cool. Wait, that was the wagon. I didn't want to do the wagon. No, yeah, that was it. Okay. Uh, we need flash moss. Awesome. Well, I have to go grind out money anyways, so if I find it, I find it. If not... Then perfect, because then I can make another video about it. So if you guys like the video, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I'm going to go ahead and call it on this one. Uh, please like and comment. Yada yada. I'll see you on the next one.